Hall at Charlotte Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Do a quick video on this cooker here. I told the Loving Goods I would. This is from Miss Gidget Loving Good in California and her husband. I think they maybe own a barbecue restaurant or whatever. But anyway, uh, this cooker's shipping out today. Uh, I'm gonna go through the field right quick. We ain't got a lot of time. I've got a lot to do today. Uh, this is a 30 by 80. It's an elevated chamber. Has the third, uh, which uh, it has a hip roof on it, which is an upgrade, and the hip roof on the wall. Okay, has a big stainless steel shelf with a back glass. Again, you know why we do that? Any decision is going to come out and go right on this shelf. Okay, uh, along the way, the Loving Goods added a burner, so I put the burner right up here up front, and uh, I, I, I incorporated the tank cover into the uh, the wood basket. It just made sense to do that. So that, that was the best thing to do. Show you my, it has a, a probe insert here, here, and here. That's what I did for the loving goods. I added a fourth grade in this cooker. Would have had three grades. The top grade, all grades would slide out, and everybody knows. But I put another grade up here. That way, if, uh, that way, if you're going to do uh, ribs and stuff, you put a lot of ribs. Or chicken right here on these two grates have tons of room to have that extra capacity. You look at the, the, the room in this cooker. I actually elevated this cooker taller than I normally would on a 30th. It's taller than 30. It's taller than on uh, 26 inches. I think I want 30. Because that's what I wanted to do. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, just just the standard elevated cabinet is 26 inches. If you go higher, then it's just more money. So anyway, here it is. Tons of room. Pull this rack out. I mean, you can do two whole hogs in this cooker easy. So uh, there you go, right there. It's got you know, got the drip bars on the door. That's what I put on mine most of the time. I'm starting it all. That's what I want to do. Uh, always be, be cognizant of the fact that if you flip up your, your shelf, this is a regular carbon steel shelf with a paper towel hold. Be cognizant of the fact that if you swing this door off, you're gonna ding it. You're going to dang it into the uh, shelf. So just be careful about that. You can do it, but just be careful doing it. Uh, right here, you have uh, both damper systems right here. One from the main chamber into the firebox, one from the warmer in, in from, from the main chamber. Right around here. I'm going to tell you on the, uh, the 30 inch model cookers, you can get two restaurant size pans on this, uh, on this shelf right here. Okay, so you get two restaurant. Side pan on this shelf. I added uh, sausage rods up there. You can drape sausage on it, stab chickens on it, or do whatever you want to do. It also has an elevated pan. In, in the, this pan will always be in the build, but you can add this up right here. It has an elevated pan in here, and it also has a heat deflector in there. On the firebox, I'm right around to the firebox. Has a huge basket in there. Has an ash pan. And, and what I do most of the time on these big, big fireboxes, I do it just because I do it to mine, is I skin the bottom of that firebox with three-eighth plate. The firebox is insulated, so it's quarter-inch plate, two, inch ins two inches of insulation, and another quarter-inch plate. But I put a three-eighth plate on the bottom as sort of a sacrificial plate for that bottom. So uh, that bottom's never going anywhere. So it's really five-eighths thick on the bottom. Down to it. When you get down to the nut, it's 5 8 thick. They come around here, it has a very large wood basket. Uh, right here, really large wood basket. Custom fenders on this cooker. It's a big cooker. If you go to a certain size cooker, a big cooker like this with an insulated firebox, you're going to have to upgrade to a 5,200 pound axle. Because that's not, that's, you might well realize that's an upgrade there with a break. They're, they're not cheap. But you know, they're not outrageous either. Well, it has the big 16 inch five look tire. I think those are 16 or they may be 15 five look, but they're heavy, heavy duty tire. Very heavy duty. Uh, again, you've got umbrella holders here. You can put umbrella, flag, whatever you want to call it, right here. Uh, this is on a five foot wide trailer. Uh, you know, it's a five foot wide trailer. So here it is. Uh, got the uh, tank holder right here. Like I said, you can incorporate the trailer. So undo the bolt put the tank in there and clamp it down and they're all good to go. Uh, so this right here is this. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it 
a cooker is shipped, there's no tax on that cooker. Out the state of Alabama, the city of Tuscaloosa, everybody, you know, just like that on it. So, cooker is picked up by a third party at our shop. There's no tax. If cooker is picked up by a customer, there's a it was 9% sales tax. Alabama, I think, just went to 11% sales tax. And I assure you, they're going to waste that money. They ain't doing nothing good with it. I had to say nothing. So anyway, that, that's just the way it is. So, you know, it, it, I, I don't understand the way it is, but it is the way it is. They say this is a manufactured product, so they slew them in on us, and uh, I'm not going to cover that. So I have thought about on the extra 2%, I think they just added 1% of whatever it is. I got to go meet with them today, actually, or tomorrow, and find out exactly what they're doing. So, you know, they, they, uh, they, uh, I ain't going to get into it. But it's, I'll, I'll say this, it's very hard for a small business to be successful. You know, it, it's, uh, and we're are the ones that keep this country running. I don't care what anybody says. A small business owner is the one that keeps this company, keeps this country running. You know, I don't want to get into nothing political. I'll get all activated. I ain't gonna allow myself to do that. My wife's been praying for me already. I know she knows how I can get sideways. Uh, again, guys, you know, thank y'all for y'all's business. Look, we don't set the standards on all that other stuff, tax stuff, and all that. Believe me, we don't set the standards on all that. I think, oh, Alabama is, I think, like the second or third highest in America, which is really a, it's a shame the way they waste money and throw it away in that tax you would deal. Anyway, guys, this, this is where we're at. Uh, nice cooker. I, I tell y'all this, I'm doing all I can do to keep keep my stuff going. I've lost both my guys that help me all the time. Thank God for Raw Tyler. Let somebody come over here and, and throw me a bone every now and then. And Lord God, Jesus, I thank him for it. It helps me tremendously. But I've got two bills right now that I booked to donate, and then I didn't realize I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't going to have no help. I got one for the United Way of West Alabama. I'm on it now, so I'm going to have to get off this video and get on all that stuff. I have to stop building grapes, fire basket, all that stuff that you would could have somebody else do, and I'm going to have to do that. Then I got to paint it. I need to be on other builds. So y'all be patient with me. I'm not behind. I'm right where I need it to be. Uh, but I'm going to have to bust my backside to keep up. It's like throwing the United Way build in there. That, that takes a full a lot of time away from me that, you know, when all that's donated, all that is donated, we make, watch this, zero off it. We've got another one coming up at the end of this month for Venetia's Foundation. So both of those cookers will be advertised online. You can buy tickets for them, but they're both going to be like auctioned off, raffled off. It won't be an auction, it'll be a raffle. So you buy raffle tickets if you win. You win, somebody says, well, what does United Way do? I'm going to put it to where I can... If I have the power, like I donate you United Way at work, but I, I, I get my money, I allocate it for hospice. Hospice, that's what I do. And maybe I can do the same thing like Cooper, get it all allocated to hospice. So that is a good organization. If you ever need them, you understand what I'm saying. I think that was very good to my mom. But, uh, you know, it's, it is about giving back. You can take all you want, take, take, and take. But, but you know, I, I was told this, if you ain't willing to give away what you have, you can't keep it. I believe that. I believe that. So, you know, I ain't going to get rich doing this, but I get a good feeling. I know I have been a contributor somewhere in this society. But again, thank y'all guys. Beautiful build, loving goods we got. They're actually coming from California to pick this cooker up. So, you know, again, you know, there'll be a tax on that. that, that I hate it. It's just the way it is. I can't do nothing about it. I wish I could wiggle my nose and not be weird. Most people don't think to do that in and fix it. I can't. So, mm -hmm. Anyway, Beautiful cooker, tons of capacity, really custom. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on, guys. Tyler got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I do, so y'all, uh, you know, just hang with us. Thank y'all.